Hi, my name is Lauren of Into the Worldwood and this is one of a series of videos where I'm recording some of the songs that I've learned over the years that I think well, work really well with children and could work in a forest school setting. Um, just really wanting to encourage people to use more singing with children. It's a great way of um, creating community and connection together. It's fun, it's great for feelings of well-being and you know lose, teaching uh, music and, and rhythm, musicality, it's really important to children. Um, and the song that I've chosen today is all about a character called Anansi. And Anansi is a, a character that comes from West Indian and Caribbean stories and um, culture and storytelling. And he, yes, a spider, a trickster, a real trickster character. And this song is about um, Anansi. And they think that Anansi was actually a blacksmith, which may explain in this song why he's using hammers to create rhythm. Because that's what this song gives you the opportunity to do with children, to give them the chance to learn some simple rhythms. And um, uh, so I use, I've got a whole load of very simple rhythm sticks that I've made, but obviously you could use other percussive instruments or um, you make, make rhythm sticks with the children. Or if you're in a situation where you don't have any of those things, you can always just use clapping. So, yes, I think the best way to teach this song is just to sing it because it's one of those songs that repeats over and over and over. But in each time you repeat it, there's a different challenge in terms of the, the number of beats. So you, we, we sing a phrase and then there's a gap, which is exactly the same length of time each time. But the children will be filling that gap with um, building up the number of beats in the gap. And it's quite a challenge, but great fun. I'm just going to go for it. And Nancy, oh, he played one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. And Nancy, oh, he played one hammer, and then he played with two. And Nancy, oh, he played two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. And Nancy, oh, he played two hammers, and then he played with three. And Nancy, oh, he played three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. And Nancy, oh, he played three hammers, and then he played with four. And Nancy, oh, he played four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Nancy, oh, he played four hammers, and then he went to sleep. Oh, come on, Nancy, wake up, we've got a song to do. And Nancy, oh, he played four hammers, four hammers. Four hammers, and Nancy, oh, he played four hammers, then he played with three, and Nancy, oh, he played three hammers, three hammers, three hammers, and Nancy, oh, he played three hammers, and then he played with two. And Nancy, oh, he played two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. And Nancy, oh, he played two hammers, and then he played with one. And Nancy, oh, he played one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. And Nancy, oh, he played one hammer. And then he had a rest. Or some other way you want to finish that song. So you can see, it's, it's challenging if you've got a group of you to all get the rhythm at the same time. But I have seen, uh, I've done this with half a class of year twos and every single one got it absolutely bang on. And they were absolutely, uh, no, they, they were so 
excited and high on this song and it, they really enjoyed the challenge of trying to get that rhythm there so I highly recommend having a go with this song it's it's fantastic little song and if you like this song uh, check out my YouTube channel because I am recording other songs as well which might help you thank you